Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau, and uh, welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. Summer is finally here, and I uh, can't wait for the good weather to go canoeing, camping, biking, and other and playing tennis. And uh, But the downside of having uh, warm weather is that, for me, I struggle whenever I see women with dress immodestly. I remember uh, uh, St. John Marie Vianney would also have that kind of struggle. Uh, that's why uh, he, it's his principle. He says that, you know, seeing everyone without looking at anyone. So he practiced uh, the, uh, the, the proper custody of his eyes. And uh, he also made a covenant with his eyes because he felt himself to be as frail as any other human being. And uh, of course, in, in, in Job chapter 31, verse 1, it says there, I made a covenant with eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman. Okay, And uh, so he would pray and fast uh, in order to subdue the flesh, for his lower nature was not as yet insensible to the fatal fascination of evil. Uh, in order to free himself from sensual temptations, uh, he would also uh, pray daily the Regina Celli, you know, or uh, Queen of Heaven, okay? And, uh, and, and make this prayer, blessed be forever the most holy and immaculate conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, amen, okay? So um, I'd just like to share with you, you know, to encourage the, 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 the ladies to, to uh, wear uh, modest clothes even during the summer. I would just like to share with you uh, something that I've read in the internet and uh, it was posted by this lady, Anne Thomas, okay? And uh, so she was sharing about um, a, a woman came into a store wearing clothes that showed her body too well. The shop owner took a good look at her, asked her to sit down, stared at her in the eye, and told them something she'll never forget in life. Miss, everything God had, has made valuable in this world is well covered and it's hard to see, find, or get. For example, where can you find the diamonds? Okay. She replied, at the bottom of the earth, covered and protected. Uh, and he asked, where are the pearls found? This girl, this woman said, at the ocean floor, covered and protected in a beautiful shell. And where can you find gold? She says, down the ground, covered in layers of rock, and to get it to you, to, and to get it, you have to work hard and dig deep. Okay. So having said that, he stared at her again and said, your body is sacred and unique. You're much more precious than gold, diamonds, and pearls. So you must be covered too. And I add, if you keep your precious minerals like gold, diamonds, and pearls deeply covered, a renowned mining organization with the necessary machine machinery will work years of extensive exploration. First, they will contact your government, which is your family, sign off uh, professional contracts, marriage, and extract it professionally, conjugal life. But if you let your precious minerals lie on the surface of the earth, you will always attract a large number of illegal miners to come, explore, and illegally take those riches. So the final encouragement is that dress up pretty, but decent. Okay, so just an encouragement uh, for the ladies uh, to do this and also to protect men, men like me, who, who struggle, you know, when, whenever I would see um, a, a woman uh, immodestly dressed. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.